All right, hey guys. Um, today I'm gonna to show you a quick tutorial on checking your batteries in your vehicle using a multimeter. This is in case you don't have a low tester, which I don't, you know, a lot of people don't have. Um, and you can do this if your car, if you think your batteries are going bad or having a hard time starting, which mine was today. Um, it's a 6.0 power stroke. I had it plugged in all night last night, and yes, I know, you guys are all gonna think 6.0 suck. I'm a huge 6.0 fan. Once you bulletproof and whatnot, they're great trucks, run forever. But that's besides the point. Had the truck plugged in all night last night. Um, I went to start it this morning, it was about five degrees, and it just it had a really slow crank to it, didn't act like it was getting a whole lot of power. So I just hooked the jumper cables up, fired right up, and went to work. Um, I've been running the truck all day, so the battery should be charged because my alternator's good. I already checked my alternator, but I'll show you how to do that anyways. So my alternator's good, my battery should be charged. I've been running it all day. So here we go, I'll show you how to do this real quick. So first off, you need your multimeter. Um, I'm using a snap-on. You don't have to use a snap-on or an expensive one. You can go down to AutoZone or Walmart and buy a cheapo one. It'll work for what you're using it for. Um, the nice thing about the more expensive ones, like the snap-ons, the Max, the Flukes, is that they have a record button. And basically what this allows you to do is record the maximum voltage that the multimeter reads and the minimum voltage that the, max, the multimeter reads. Um, this lets you see how low the voltage goes when you're starting the vehicle and then it'll also tell you what the voltage is at when the vehicle's running and the alternator is charging your batteries so we'll turn it to volts dc 12.1 yeah see with it running all day usually i should be sitting at about 12.6 so i can already tell you the battery is is probably weak um, the other thing that helps too is having these alligator clips on your probes that make it a lot easier than trying to hold the probes there because if you're doing this by yourself i mean you've only got two hands obviously which is why the record button and having alligator clips makes it so much easier so we've got it on dc volts we'll push record it's going to record our maximum and our minimum so here we go Low plug cycle. Um, also, it'll help when you're checking your alternator if you rev it up to about 1500 to 12, 1500 to 2000 RPMs. It'll help kick in that alternator just so we can get our max reading. And we can shut it off and go check, see what we're at. So, we'll push the record button. So we're showing our minimum right now. Yeah, see, 7.4. That is really low. Um, usually, when you're starting your truck or your car, on your battery when it's got a load under it to start. Um, you don't want to drop below 10.9. I think 10.9 is usually about 10.9 volts is usually about where you want to be at when you're you, you know cranking your motor over. That usually shows a pretty strong battery. So yeah, mine mine's toast. Uh, I need a new one. But I'll do the same thing to this one over here. Check it. I'm probably since that one's bad. I'm just gonna end up replacing both of them. That's just a I don't know. May as well. But uh, yeah, that's basically how you do it. So, oh, and if you're checking your alternator, it should sit at about 13.4 to about 14 volts when it's charging the system. That's a good way to check your alternator. If it's not, if it's still sitting around 12 volts when it's started and running, you've probably got either bad connections, a bad ground, or your alternator is, isn't working very well. So, yeah, that's basically it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching.